What's up guys, welcome to a new video. We're gonna start today with a couple cold starts. First of a Yaris GR. circuit, the French Formula One circuit to try and get some decent laps in in a very cool car which I'll show you in a bit. But today's video is in this man's hands because I'm going to be fully focused. Anyways, we're taking the Scud to the circuit but we're not actually driving it on track. We've got a specific car for that. It's Owen's birthday today as well. He's turning 68. How does it feel? Okay, we are arriving at the track. This is pretty cool. So this is where all the F1 goes down. In not too long, in a few weeks time. Salut! Vous êtes levé tôt. Vous êtes sur le vlog. Ça va? Il y a des voitures sympas qui sont arrivées? Je vais vous faire un ou deux petits rêves, ça vous l'entendez. This is our team truck for today. This is this is nuts. Okay, we're starting our day off with a little bit of coffee and we're gonna explore the track. We've got oh look, alright, 570. And then the race cars are out that way. And then I don't know, we're gonna go see what there is this way. RWS R8, so rear wheel drive. GT3, GT2 RS, 4C. Oh. Four C. Oh, look at this. Oh wow. Ah, GT4. Look at this. Lots of GT3 is very popular, obviously. GT2 Maritas as well. This one is sick. Wow. Carbon. Oh. Incredible. Yeah, the spec on this. Yeah, the spec is nuts. Huh? But this one too, with all the carbon up there. GTS. GT3 RS. Oh, Black Series. Another GT3 RS up there. Black Series, C63. This is sick. Look. This is a pretty pimped out tech art GTS. Look at that. Right, drink the coffee and then we go discover the team. Bonjour. Wow. Comment ça va? Ça va, merci. Wow. Mais c'est trop cool. Impressionnant. J'étais, j'étais pas prêt pour tout ce setup. C'est dingue, incroyable. Comment ça va Ça va Ça c'est la voiture qu'on roule aujourd'hui, la famille. Guys, I don't have the words. Today, race car, proper race car, on a proper race track. This is like my childhood dream. Yeah. And we're gonna drive the 488 Evo as well. We're gonna go 
to see on the track while they're driving. Right, so at this point I'm in the car with a coach, so a professional driver right next to me and this is kind of where the nerves started picking up a little bit. I'm doing some voiceover because it was all in French. As you can see, we're getting the car pushed back. So pretty intimidating because, you know, everyone's kind of waiting to see how, how you're going to do. But um, the coach was fantastic. He really kind of reassured me, uh, walked me through the track, walked me through the car, the different settings that we'd be able to explore, the things to keep in mind. And at this point, I'm just trying to take in as much information as possible and, uh, yeah, not stress out with all the other people that will be on track, learning the car, learning the track, and just taking everything in. So first step of the day and the first round was mainly just to learn everything, get used to it before I could start really pushing on. At this point, you can probably see on my face, I'm very concentrated. A little bit scared because, you know, there's always a little bit of risk as well when you're going out on track. But taking the car out, the sound of this thing is nuts. Listen to just even me pulling out of the pit lane. So here you can hear that I'm short shifting, uh, I'm looking in the mirrors a lot, there was a lot to handle with the traffic so the coach next to me was helping me with that. Uh, later on in the day we didn't have to deal with the traffic at all because you kind of set yourself in pace on the lap and then you're good to go and there's no one passing you and you're mainly just because we're in a race car and it's faster than the other cars passing the other people around the track. So this was the first step was dealing with the traffic, you can see the coach is giving me little tips and tricks on you know how to best handle the car get the best performance out of it I started off yeah really shifting early getting to know the track and I just much rather start uh, slowly and build up from there than go out there and try and be a superstar from lap one so yeah we're basically just getting used to things at this point and it was great having someone next to me who had a lot more experience than I did I'm, I need to like get back into it because it's exhausting and it's a million degrees in the car but what an experience and the crazy thing is this I'm you know like a car guy I never dreamt of being able to do this and uh, yeah I wanted to share this experience with you but also because my dream would be to do this more often look at the radical anyways my dream would be to do this more often so to do that to present to teams to give you the opportunity to get in their cars you need to have half decent times and then find sponsors, which hopefully thanks to the views we can get on YouTube, that can be a little bit more easy, I don't know. 
Um, but we're, yeah, so we're, I'm trying to put together a package to do this more often because I figured if I don't do it now, I don't know if I'll ever do this and I want to, you know, hopefully I'll be lucky enough to be able to experience these cars more often. So, yeah, also it's just making me itch for more and uh, I think the times aren't too bad. I'm not sure, but they're not terrible. So that's positive. Oh, okay. We're back in con this control center where you've got all of these screens. It's so cool, so, so cool. And we're gonna be able to analyze also all of the data on like breaking points, etc. This was first session, get used to the car, get everything warmed up, new brake pads on the car. So we had to be like braking to get the brake pads in, uh, get used to the track, get used to managing traffic because there's quite a lot of traffic. And obviously I'd much rather go out, be super slow on my first lap, get used to the car, get used to the track and let everyone by because those guys, it's their 40th time here in the same car. So they're going around like, like super fast and then building up. So this is what it was basically starting off, getting used to everything and now comes the building up. So, you know, getting the braking points, you know, how far can we push the braking points? Uh, what, what, what are your apex? Where are your apex on each corner? So uh, yeah, just kind of getting used to it. The car's super easy to drive. Um, the, I mean, race car, so limitless grip. So cool, honestly, and the whole setup here is awesome. It's just a dream, dream day. So no, I'm loving this, a day in a challenge car. And later on, we're actually going to try the 488 and be able to compare. Right now, we're on the tires are obviously used. Elliot's taking the car now. I might do one more session on these tires, and then we're going to put a brand new set of tires on straight away. So, yeah. Awesome to be able to go as a passenger as well, see the lines, everything. Man, I just went with has loads of experience. So, yeah, but I need to hydrate, eat something. Because it's intense, it's really intense. Guys, while we were driving, they cleaned the cars. Look at this. All the cars are clean. This is the team, D2P. Whew. Outrageous, that's so cool. Okay, lunchtime now. Guys, I wanted to quickly show you the interior of the car. Massive paddles, obviously. And then we've got, uh, yeah, all sorts. So we've got the pit limiter, scroll to go through the different options on the dashboard, radio, indicators, traction control, different modes. We're driving it on mode one, which is a little bit less restrictive. Wipers. This is where you start the car, light, AC, which it doesn't have, I believe this one. Um, rain light, and yeah. So, reverse down here. This is the interior of the car. I mean, bare minimum, but it's gotta be as light and as communicative as possible, really. This is how you open the... Ugh. Okay. All right, I'm going for a lap with, uh, with Elliot. Right here. First of all, his helmet's much cooler than mine. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to see how it is. It's going to be interesting for me. You've got a lot more experience with this car. So we're going to see what this is like. I'm so like tight yeah. in here, but uh, you need to be because yeah. he's going to slam on those brakes and or else you're moving all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so now we are changing the tires because the tires are already dead. So full new set of tires. Also changing the brake pads because they're pretty dead. So changing everything now. And while we were doing that, we found a little problem with the rear suspension. So they're just checking out it's something they can fix now. It's just wear and tear on some of the pieces. And uh, yeah, then fingers crossed if everything's okay, I can go out, new tires, new brake pads. We're putting all the lap time telemetry on the car and I'm gonna go for some lap time. So fingers crossed. All right, well, you joined me a couple of hours later and unfortunately the suspension issue, uh, which no, one, no one's fault, not the car's fault. It's just one of those things which can happen on track. It could be anything, could just be a bump at the wrong angle, whatever it could be. Um, that's not fixable today. It's fixable, no problem in general, but just not today. So that car's out. D2P, who are the team that we were with today, this is about to be very loud. Get ready for it. That was three cars <laughs> wide down the straight. Anyways, they were very good, kindly going to let me drive the 488 which unfortunately also had a wheel issue. They had a wheel issue, which is another thing you can't control, uh, just before I was about to get into the car. So this one is unfortunately, again, if there was a whole day left, we could put it back together. But because it's the end of the day already, there's, there's no point. And this is a client car. So unfortunately, the day is over for me. I wasn't able to do uh, lap times with brand new slicks or brake pads, but we were turning around 216s, which uh, I don't know if you know this track or anything, but yeah, not, not too bad. So with slicks, uh, with new slicks, we're doing around 250, which is enough to go like talk to some people to potentially do more racing stuff. So I'm happy that's what I came here for. Uh, I've had a great time. Uh, D2P have been unbelievable. I mean, what a service that they give everyone. It's unreal and I feel like just so, so lucky and like a little kid to have experienced it. But I want to show you one last thing because I've just been, and I thought it was so sick, was in the trucks that they've got behind and I've always wondered what it's like. So I'm going to put the camera on my head and let's go see the trucks. So there's the pit garage, guys. But while we've kind of, you know, got some time off now with everything that's going on, I thought I'd show you the D2P trucks because I think these are really cool and I've always wondered what it looks like inside these. Basically, when you rent a car with these guys, it's what they offer is you can do rentals, you can do races with them, they're a full race team. Uh, you get all of this that comes with it. So as you can tell, it's massive. This is all logistics, this truck, but this truck is where we've been hanging out and it's a really cool system. So when you're done with your session, you come in here and I think there's actually a debrief going on now. Hello. Hello. Okay, so this is just a debrief area, but so cool. So on the screen, so you can see all of the details of your braking zones, uh, where you need to be around each corner. It's really, really useful. Here, you've got a little work area, I guess. Bathroom with a shower, so you can have a shower before you leave. I'm gonna hop in there in a little bit. See you, enjoy, ciao, ciao. And then, here, you've got a massage room. So you saw me getting a massage over there, I think, earlier. This is the full massage room. They're gonna do a little like rest area here as well. But I mean, how sick is this? The whole, everything, you know, it's everything you need to be able to be in the best conditions possible. I mean, it's nuts. I never, I didn't think that this kind of stuff existed. But yeah, anyways, I thought I'd show you that while we have the time off, because I've always wondered what it's like. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think we're going this way. Look at our car. Ciao, ciao. A bientôt, merci. And the other. Ciao, ciao. Oh, bye, no. bye. Thank you. So unfortunately, Owen, for your birthday, the plan was you were gonna do the, the last pro race session of the day. It was supposed to, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that didn't happen. So we're gonna have to reorganize something for Owen's birthday. But what an experience! I, mean, I never thought I'd really be able to watch that, let alone be part of it. So. Yeah, really, really special experience. I am exhausted now though. That is so physical, but well worth it. Now we've got a two hour drive home. Just in case the day wasn't tiring enough, take a scud on a road trip now. Conclusion of the day, racing is lots of fun, very unpredictable, and D2P service is outrageously cool. And that was well worth the rental today because uh, I mean that was just an insane insane experience despite us only getting half the day <laughs> rather than the full day look who's back 